which smallest number should be added to 86237 to make it exactly divisible by 9 right to make it to make it exactly divisible by 9 so the given number is 86237 and you're looking at what number has to be added to 86237 to make it exactly divisible by 9 now how do you do this now before you solve this question basically divisibility by 9 is a very easy verification it takes like three to four seconds for you to verify whether a number is divisible by nine or not and what should be added to make it divisible by nine or what should be subtracted to make it divisible by nine but then even before we look into the solution we look into that method let me tell you that option one option two and option three cannot be the answers to this question the answer should either be option four or option five so if you are in a hurry and if you are ready to take a chance you should blindly mark either option four or option five basically it takes like three seconds like i said not more than that but even if you say you're short on three seconds you just mark four or five because one two three are incorrect answers impossible answers why is it so see the point is you are trying to divide a number by nine you're trying to divide a number by nine some number x has to be divided by nine now for it to be basically the number in the current format eight six two three seven it is not divisible because we have to add something to this that's what is asking us to find out right what should we add what should we add to this one so that it becomes divisible by 9 which means currently it is not divisible by 9 now understand by adding 11 see if 11 was really the case see see adding 11 means what when you are adding 11 to a number you are actually adding 9 and then you are adding 2 i mean you can say you are adding 8 and 3 also but i am in, in the current scenario since we are talking about divisible by 9 let me explain this to you when you are adding 11 you are adding 9 to a number and then you are adding 2 you know the fact that you are adding anything more than 9 shows that it cannot be the smallest number that should be added Re refer to this term here smallest number what should be the smallest number that should be added if i if i'm adding one more 9 to the number which means i'm increasing the divisibility by 1 you are able to follow for example 17 is the number let's say what should be added to 17 so that it becomes divisible by 9 i can add 1 but i can add 10 also because 17 plus 1 makes makes it 18 18 is divisible by 9 17 plus 10 uh, 10 27 27 is also divisible by 9 you understand 27 is also divisible by 9 or i can say that i can add uh, uh, you know maybe uh, 19 17 plus 19 is also divisible by 9 see 17 plus 1 18 divisible by 9 17 plus 10 27 divisible by 9 17 plus 19 36 divisible by 9 but what is he asking us to find out the smallest number smallest number is one here it cannot be 10 or 19 and, and more importantly when you are adding 10 what have you done you have added one 9 and you have added one here you have added two nines like 9 plus 9 plus 1 19 is what plus 9 plus 9 plus 1 10 is 9 plus 1 so you have added one more 9 you are increasing the divisible by 1 see 18 is divisible two times 27 is divisible three times you are incre increasing the divisibility by one more time in similarly in this case you are increasing the divisibility by two more times but that's not the requirement right we want to make it divisible by adding something minimum possible so that is why 11 cannot be the answer because 11 is like adding one more nine there that's not required similarly 10 no 10 cannot be the answer has to be less than nine see the point that i'm trying to make is the answer here answer here should be less than nine should be less than nine it cannot be equal to nine also because by adding nine if the number is becoming divisible which means in the current format also it is divisible by nine yes or no 18 is divisible by 9 if i add 9 then also it is divisible by 9 but the fact that you are adding 9 and making it divisible means in the current format also it is divisible so that is the reason answer cannot be anything equal to or more than 9 answer has to be less than 9 that's the point answer has to be less than 9 suppose similarly he's talking about divisibility by 8 let's say if you're checking the uh, divisibility by 8 answer should be less than 8 answer has to be less than 8 answer cannot be more than 8 or equal to 8 if you're talking about divisibility by 23 answer has to be less than 23 it cannot be equal to 23 or more than 23 all right so this logic helps us eliminate the three options but anyway that logic is not required you can answer the question even otherwise very easily what do we do how to check the divisibility by 9 some of the digits have to be divisible by 9 some of the digits yes or no for a number to be divisible by 9 the sum of its digits sum of all its digits has to be Discipline. now why are we checking for some of the digits there's a uh, you know there is a proof behind that which is not important for us right we are only interested in the method not the reasoning there but anyway some of the digits all the digits when added should be divisible by nine right that's the rule right 
sum of the ridges should be divisible by 9. So let's check this. What is the sum of the ridges here? 8 plus 6, 14 plus 2, 16 plus 3, 19 plus 7, 26. Sum of the ridges is 26. Sum of the ridges is 26. Is 26 divisible by 9? No. So this number is not divisible by 9. That anyway we knew. But then by adding what to 26 will it become divisible by 9? What smallest number can be added to 26 to make it divisible by 9? I can add 1. 26 plus 1 will make it 27. And 27 is divisible by 9. I can add 10 also. 26 plus 10, 36. 36 is divisible by 9. But we are looking for smallest number. So by adding 1, it becomes 27. And when it becomes 27, it is divisible by 9. Which means this also is divisible by 9 when you add 1 to it. Adding 1 here means adding 1 to this number. It, it implies the same, right? Adding 1 to the sum of the digits, meaning increasing this value by 1. If it is 86238, 86237 is not divisible, but 86238 is divisible. So we have to add 1. You have to add 1 so that the number becomes divisible by 9. Very simple technique. I mean, you just have to, you take any number. Let's say there is a 6 digit number. 54971364285. What should be added to this number to make it divisible by 9? Don't panic. Solution here is as simple as what you have done here. Take the sum of the digits. In fact, I'll tell you one more interesting thing. If you have if you have understood the digital root method, we have discussed about the uh, digital root, right? Digital root or, root or root digit method. If you know that method, you need not even add all the digits. Like for example here, I know that 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9. I'll only look at 8. By adding 1 to 8, it becomes divisible by 9. You can apply digital root technique also, right? So by adding 1 to 8, it becomes divisible by 9. So that's that one is the answer directly. So here also, when I have to find out the sum, I need not do actual sum. You know, we can apply digital root method also. But let's let's do the actual sum first. So 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 7, 8, uh, sorry, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 7, 25, plus 1, 26, plus 3, 29, plus 6, 35, plus 4, 39, plus 2, 41, plus 8, 49, plus 5, uh, 54. Okay, this is digital by 9. So let me take one more digit, 6. Now find out the sum, 5 and 4, 9 and 9, 18 and 7, 20. 5 and 1, 26 and 3, 29 and 6, 35 and 4, 39 and 2, 41 and 8, 49 and 5 is uh, 54 and 6 is 60. Sum is 60. Sum of the is 60. Is 60 divisible by 9? No. By adding what will 60 become divisible by 9? By adding 3. 60 plus 3, 63 is divisible by 9. So 3 should be added. To this number, 3 should be added. Right? So 3 will be the answer in this case. Look at this. A 10 digit number or whatever. A long number, a big number. But then the solution remains as simple as what we had seen earlier. Now we can make it even more simpler. What do you do? Instead of doing all this drama of adding the digits, you just check the digital root. See 5 and 4 is 9, forget about it. 9 is 9, forget about it. 3 and 6 is 9, forget about it. 7 and 2 is 9, forget about it. Again 5 and 4, 9, forget about it. 8 and 1 is 9, forget about it. What is left out? 6. By adding what to 6 will, be become, will it become divisible by 9? By adding 3. So you can add 3 to get the answer. Okay. So the answer to this question is option 5, none of this. 1 has to be added and the method here is the sum of the digits. But remember in general when you are looking for divisibility by a particular number, answer cannot be equal to or more than that number. Answer has to be less than that number. Like for example, is the given number divisible by x or what should be added basically? What should be added so that a particular number is divisible by x? Now that number that you add should be less than x. It cannot be equal to or more than x.